Hi and welcome to another vlog. This is part two of my studio makeover. If you haven't seen part one, I'll link that one down below. In this one, I do more of the decorating and wall painting. There's a little sneak peek behind me. I did lose a little bit of the footage in the beginning because I painted two walls, but the SD card that I used to film that is gone with my phone that I lost at Bush Gardens because I was on the new Pantheon and they advertised it as the world's fastest multi-launch coaster and it launched my phone out of my pocket. It was a deep pocket and I was literally sitting on it so I have no idea how it fell off but I'm assuming it shattered into a bunch of pieces. We'll start the vlog when I'm starting to paint this checker wall behind me. I'm just using the X-Acto knife and the ruler to clean up these edges where the tape's overlapping. So I'm about halfway done right now. Oh, it's taking forever. Now I can paint white along the tape edges and then paint the mint color. Finally done with the two coats and I painted by the trim and the edges and now we wait. Last piece of tape. Woo! So it's admittedly been a couple weeks since I finished painting this wall, <laughs> but we went on an Easter trip to Luray Caverns with my cousin from New York because she's never been. Um, 
and then we went to California to celebrate my husband's grandparents 50th anniversary and our anniversary which was the next day I haven't had many orders throughout that but I have been working with the office like this and it's driving me crazy and I am ready to finally put everything back Just need to clean up the desk and organize the lamp shelf, but I love it. You like it? Do you like it, buddy? <laughs> I'm planning on assembling this table and putting it in a huge closet so that I can set up like a sublimation and heat press area, but it's just taking a while to do things. But I'm gonna remove it for now because it's an eyesore. Now all I need is a cute blanket to put on the ugly recliner. So this is the status of the room right now. I basically have a bunch of things to hang. So I have two of these and I'm thinking that I'll hang one up here. I have this kind of goldish metal grid and I'm thinking I'm gonna put both of them right here like I did in my last studio. I have like this art that I thrifted and then I think above those I'll put this clock. I also have two of these Ikea spice racks hanging them over here. I have this paper rack that I think I'm gonna put over here. I love the checkerboard wall so much that now I don't want to cover it up but <laughs> I'm gonna need to suck it up. I think I'm gonna put this smaller IKEA pegboard up here, or is that where I wanted it? I think I wanted it here so then I can put extra desk stuff there. And I have this little coat hanger that I might put over here or over here um, when I package my orders. I put them in a bag and then hang them there. We got this whiteboard but I don't think that's gonna fit in here. <laughs> and then the second of those wooden shelves. I think I want to put one up here because this is kind of like my relaxing reading nook so I want to be able to put books nearby. Oh and I put these pegboards up so long ago and I still haven't put all of the stuff that goes on it so I have some of the things right there so I'm just gonna start throwing them on there and filling it up and I'll figure out how to organize it as I go and then if you remember my terracotta wall plant hanger things I have a few more of them and I have a lot of pothos so maybe this will just be a pothos wall I mentioned that I couldn't have any plants over here because this vent was drying it out but if you see that plastic thing. I found that on Amazon so it kind of redirects the air much further back and now I don't have any issues.
All right, this will do for now. None of the clear bins are organized and I need to find, let me see. There's two here. I'm missing one. So after I find that and finish unpacking stuff, because I do have a couple boxes in the closet, I'll finish organizing that, but at least they're up so I can start placing things as I think seems handy. <laughs> I was measuring this shelf and the studs are supposed to be 16 inches apart and this side and this side are 40 inches apart so every place that we've hung them like in the last house we were renting and the apartment we were in before that one of these has always fallen and it's because one side is on studs and then the other side is on anchors and then one side would just eventually tip over <laughs> So I don't want that to happen because it's going to be all the way up there and I don't want it to fall like on my head this way or this way. So we're just going to get some like really good quality anchors because um, I don't know which kit has it. Oh yeah, this Ikea kit has really shitty anchors. So we'll stop by Lowe's and get those and then I'll be able to hang up the other one over there too after we get them. We have acquired the anchors. They say that they hold up to 79 pounds, so hopefully these will work. Uh, I'm going to see where the studs are and maybe one side can at least be in studs or if not, then I'll just use anchors for all of it, so let's do that. I'm kind of tempted to just rest it on the frame of the closet so then it has extra support. Okay, I'm calling 
Dang it quits. Fuck that thing. So I don't know what in the world is up with that wall. Because I was able to screw this in just fine. But for some reason up here, I cannot get the screws to go all the way through. I couldn't get the anchors to go all the way through. I tried to do pilot holes for the screws and they still wouldn't go all the way. Like my measurement's good. I was able to get the shelf on there, but the screws just aren't going far in enough for the shelf to stay put and uh, I've already made too many holes and I'm about to give up and just put some artwork or something <laughs> to hide the holes. Uh, this is some bullshit. <laughs> okay, I placed these old Lee Ellickson pieces that I had on there to see if it would look good, and I think it looks pretty good. So I'm just gonna hang those and call it a day. <laughs> so I got gifted these woolly pockets for Christmas, and when Nick and I went to Trader Joe's, we saw this huge pothos that was severely root bound and it was just ginormous for ten dollars so i got it because i figured i could split it into two and put it into two of the woolly pockets i have a third one so i guess it'll just be like a pothos overload there with three of these woolly pockets hanging up there <laughs> So this will give it space to grow. And then the third one I have is a little longer, so since there's a gap here, it'll be okay if it kinda hangs down a little lower, which is why I wanted it in the middle. All right, here's my third one. This one's actually the one that I had hanging in my last video. And you can see, it's a little longer. This one to see. Maybe I should take that one down too. <laughs> Look how fun! Ooh, finally have some plants in here! I'll link these down below if you're interested in these wall pocket, wooly pocket things. Alright, so I'm pretty much done with these walls. I'm gonna hang that clock there. We put pictures there instead of the shelf. <laughs> and we got the wooly pockets up. So I measured out this wall by the reading nook and put in the anchors and the screws just for shits and giggles and I'm glad to know that I'm not crazy or stupid because they went in perfectly fine <laughs> so I don't know what's wrong with that wall up there but hopefully I did my measurements correctly and the shelf will fit on here so yeah crossing my fingers <laughs>
Alright, so we got the shelf for hanging totes or jackets, the metal grids, the clock, the wood spice rack, some art, all the plants, added the pieces to the pegboard, hung that metal paper organizer, and hung this. Phew! Okay. Now I can clean up a little bit. It's a couple days later. I was kind of upset that I couldn't fit all of the paints on the two little gold um, racks on the wire rack thing. So I went to Michael's uh, to hopefully find some more and I did. So they look like this and they're Ashland and they were 50% off and I also had like a $5 Michael's reward coupon so it ended up being two bucks so one dollar each. Uh, they didn't have any more of the hanging wire rack themselves but they had these so I guess I looked up. And I also remembered seeing these kind of minty sage blankets at Target that match my wall color perfectly so I got that too so that I could put it on the recliner because the recliner is a little uh, beat up and the color is not the greatest so I'll just throw that on there so that it is more cozy and matches the wall color more so I'm excited that I could get that I found a few little knickknacks in the closet that I just threw up there and some more craft supplies so I'm gonna organize that. So I found some random craft supplies and I think there's books in there so I'm gonna put those on the bookshelf because that's not how I want this to look. But I also have these clay glazing things that I had in the garage but the garage is really dark. I That's where I throw, so I had put all of my clay stuff in there. And it's kind of too dark to glaze in there. So since I have this empty, what are these called? The utility carts from Michaels? I figured I'd just turn it into like a clay glazing um, cart and I can put my bisquare on there and all of my underglazes and coats and paintbrushes and whatnot. And wax resist that just fell. These are all glazes. Uh, this one's underglaze, so I'll put the underglaze on a separate one and keep everything organized. My favorite underglazes are the Amico Velvet underglazes. They apply really nicely. kind of struggling with what to put it here. I'm not the best at decorating. <laughs>
Is it bad if I split them up? She's kind of a lot cuter. <laughs> Where do I put you? <laughs> There's little ghost stickers on it from when I did the Halloween ones. Maybe I'll put all the tools at the top because I just realized that I won't be able to put the lid on. Okay, I think that's gonna wrap up part two of this studio makeover. I did not tackle the closet in this video. I think I'm going to add shelving and um, I mentioned in the first makeover that I think I'm going to make it like my sublimation heat press area just because I don't use those as often but when I do need to replenish my tote and mug inventory mainly for events because I don't really sell them online uh, then I'll have a space to do that. Once I get to that point I'll probably finalize the organization in the main space. I'll show you what we've accomplished so far. So here's what it looks like when you walk in. I'm so happy with how this checkerboard wall turned out. I'm absolutely in love with it. It took forever, but it was worth it. Got the cute blanket from Target to match it. Finally got some plants in here, thanks to that air vent, uh, deflector, whatever it's called. But the plants look so happy, which makes me happy. Got some artwork up there because the shelf would just not go through <laughs> that portion of the wall. Painted this wall, hung and organized all of those goodies, and got some artwork pieces from the Patreons I'm subscribed to. Got my little coat hanger and that'll hold the bag with all my packed up orders. Got my little cozy reading nook. and got the pegboard behind my desk set up along with the paper organizer. And this shelf's pretty much the same. I'll finalize what I have on there <laughs> eventually. And there's the little cat space when they come hang out with me and got all my glazing stuff there for my pottery because I like to do it on this desk right here where I get a lot of sunlight whenever I'm not working on orders. So I hope you like how it's turned out so far, how it's coming together. I'm really excited about it and I'm taking forever, but we bought this house so we're not gonna be moving anytime soon. So I wanna take my time and get it just the way I like it. So keep an eye out for part three because this closet over here is ginormous and it's basically going to be its own little separate office area. I'm going to be pinning a lot of stuff on Pinterest of conversions of closets into offices. So that'll come up and probably the next video I'll be unboxing some more actual laser machine stuff because I finally got all of the extra pieces I need to be able to cut materials and a lot of you seem to be really excited about it since it's a lot more affordable than the Glowforge. 
Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!